Hello friends, subscribers and new viewers of this channel. In this 3D CAD tutorial, we explain how to properly rotate objects in FreeCAD. For those of you who don't know what the FreeCAD is, FreeCAD is completely free and open source program for 3D design. It can also perform finite element analysis. Several years ago, I switched to this program for my robotics 3D designs. In this tutorial, we explain number one how to rotate objects by using Euler angles number two how to rotate objects around custom defined rotation origins and points number three how to rotate objects around custom defined axis of rotation besides this in this tutorial you will learn a number of small tips and tricks that are useful for mastering free cat and this tutorial is designed for complete beginners Okay, let's start. The first step is to create our project. There are several ways to do that. You can simply click here on create new or you can cl simply click file and new. Let's choose the first option. The next step is to create our 3D object. In this tutorial, I will use a simple cube. To create a 3D object, you need to click here. Then you need to click on part design and you have several options over here. The easiest approach is to click here and expand this drop-down menu and to click on Additive Box. Another approach is to click on Part Design and here you need to select an option Create an Additive Primitive and you need to select Additive Box. Let's use the first option. And over here you can see our box you can adjust the dimensions 10 10 and 10 let's not change anything and let's just press ok and here is our box since this tutorial is designed for complete beginners first i will explain how to rotate pan and zoom the view first of all make sure that over here cat is selected that is, we are going to use the CAD conventions for rotating, for pan, and for zooming. To pan the view, simply press the middle roller mouse button and move left and right. That is, you need to hold the roller or the middle mouse button. And this is how you pan the view. To zoom the view, you simply need to roll the middle mouse button back and forward. Then to rotate you need to press and hold both the middle mouse button and the right mouse button and you can rotate. Again press and hold the middle mouse button and the right mouse button and you can rotate the view. When performing rotations it's very beneficial to see the axes. So let's show them. Click here on view and click on toggle axis cross and here they are the red one is x the blue one is z and the green one is y next let's learn how to perform simple rotation to do that click here on body or in your cube do the right click and click on transform and here it is to rotate around a certain axis you need to click on any of these spheres over here and then you need to hold while clicking and to move the mouse button that is if we want to rotate around the y-axis we simply need to select this green sphere left mouse button click and simply move it and you can see that we are rotating around y-axis and that's it simple as that over here, you can change the rotation increment. If you don't like one degree of rotation step, change this to 10 degree and let's do it again. And now you can see that the rotation step is 10 degrees. For example, if you want to rotate around the x-axis, you will simply select this red sphere because red is the color for the x-axis and simply rotate simple as that and let's select some position and let's click ok and here we are we rotated our object 
The main drawback of this rotation method is that we can only rotate around the axes that are associated with this origin over here. That is, with the origin at this corner of the cube. However, in practice, you would often need to rotate a box or an object around the user-defined axis or around some other point. Let's learn how to do that. Here, for clarity, let's erase our object simply click on body and press delete and let's create a new box click here on part design create an additive primitive and let's create an additive box and press enter the second approach for rotating is to select body then click on edit and click on placement after clicking, you will see this menu that will enable you to adjust translation and rotation. So let's analyze this menu over here. First of all, you have the option Euler Angles. So let's see what happens if we start rotating by using Euler Angles. Aha! Uh -huh. We are currently rotating. Let me now rotate this so you can nicely see around the z-axis so you can see what happens that is this is the first Euler angle it is your rotation around the z-axis good now let's see what is pitch what do you think will I rotate around my original y-axis or around the rotated y-axis well let's see and let's find out and let's see what happens. Here, we are obviously rotating around the rotated y-axis. And here it is. And let's finally check what is rho, that is rotation around the x-axis, and let's see. And now you can see that we are rotating around this edge. That is, we are rotating around the rotated y-axis. So let me reset this and let me repeat. So what's the idea over here? What's the difference between Euler angle and the standard way of rotation? Well, Euler angles are defined like this. First of all, you perform one rotation. For example, your rotation. And the your rotation is around the z-axis that matches our global z-axis. That is this z-axis. Then, Next time you rotate by using Euler angles, you're not going to rotate around the original global axis, you're going to rotate around the rotated axis. And to show you that, notice the difference. This red line over here, or the red arrow, is the original x-axis. However, we rotated this x-axis, and now, the x-axis of the rotated frame matches this edge over here. That is, it coincides with this edge. And now let's rotate around this axis, and you can see what happens. And these are the so-called Euler rotations, and they're very useful in robotics and mechanical engineering. Okay, let's now reset everything to bring everything to the original position. Currently, we are rotating around this point. However, we would like to rotate, for example, around this point. Let's learn how to do that. Over here, click somewhere, do the left click, and then click over here. Click on this edge, or basically on this corner, on this vertex. And notice something over here. When I move my cursor over the corner, you will see what happens. You can see vertex, that we are selecting vertex. So select this vertex and click here on selected points. And now let's try to do a rotation and let's see what will happen. First of all, let's see Z rotation or the your rotation. And you can see now that the local coordinate system is moved over here. Unfortunately, we cannot see it. However, the rotation is over here. That is, the origin is here. And now our local Z is here, and we are rotating 
effectively around this origin, around the z-axis. You can see pitch over here, and you can see rho. And that's it. Simple as that. Next, let's learn how to rotate around the user-defined axis. First of all, let's reset everything to bring everything into the original shape. Click here to deselect our box and let's select two points on the axis of rotation. For example, let's select the point over here and the point over here. How to select these points? Well, click on the first point over here, then press and hold control, and then select the point over here. Here it is. Now you can see that two points are actually being selected, and click here, selected points. And what happened right now? Let's investigate. Here, we need to see this option. That, that is, this option is automatically being selected. Rotation axis with an angle. And you can see something over here. The axis is being automatically defined. And you can see actually the projections of the unit vector of this axis. But let's investigate this and see if it works. Let's change the angle of rotation. And here it is. You can clearly see that we are actually rotating around this diagonal of this face over here. And this is truly amazing. This is very simple. Okay, let's verify that this actually works by pressing reset and let's, for example, select this axis over here. That is this edge over here. Again, click here, click here, then press and hold control and select this point select point and that's it and let's see what happens here it is beautiful we can rotate around this axis this is so powerful that you can actually select even the main diagonal of your cube so click here press and hold control and click here and then click on select points and now let's see what happens. Magic happens. We are now rotating the cube around the main diagonal. And that's it. Next, we will explain the third approach for rotating the object. But before we do that, let's click on reset here to return everything to the initial position. And let's click on OK. This third approach for rotating the object is very useful if you want to rotate the object around the axis that's actually normal to the surface. Let's learn how to do that. Over here, click on this drop-down menu and select Draft. Now, then click over here and Pan. Here is the object. Let's rotate the object around this axis that's represented by this point over here in this view. To do that, you simply need to click here, and then you need to select this point over here. And then you will be asked to specify the base angle. Let's specify the base angle 0, and then we will be able to rotate the object. And here it is. You can see how nicely we can rotate it. And for example, over here, you can even specify the angle. 67 degrees and that's it this is the third approach for rotating the object let's get out from this view and you can see how nicely the object is rotated okay that's all for today and thanks for watching